Good Monday morning, everybody. It is a rainy, rainy, rainy day here. I'm not sure what it's like where you are, but oh my goodness, we're getting so much rain. It is coming in on the patio. Uh, it is just rain like crazy out here at the farm. So yesterday though, we did a lot of filming for you guys. So today's video is really gonna be about yesterday. <laughs> we started on the chicken tractor. We decided on a chicken tractor, a mobile chicken coop, to do that first instead of the big coop because one, it would be easier and faster. And two, we could use a lot of materials we already had. So that was what we focused on yesterday. It's still not done, but it's getting there. Um, and just some other stuff that happened yesterday. So here's a look at yesterday. afternoon it is Saturday and we have to get a chicken coop built this weekend um, I am struggling with it a little bit today because I got the flu shot yesterday and yeah feel a little bit off today but that's okay so I think what we're gonna do is build a temporary coop out of materials we already have um, versus running in and uh, buying a bunch of material to do the permanent one. And that's going to give us a little bit more time so we can do that permanent one right um, because I really want that one to be a one and done. So step one and what we've got to do is figure out what we have that I brought with us that we can build from. I'm suspecting I'll still need some 2 by 4s in order to do some framework for it. Um, but yeah, I'm going to crack the barn open and start dragging out some material and see what we have. All right, so I got up in the loft and I looked at what I had left over from previous stuff we've done. And I don't have really any two by fours at all. And I can't put a frame together without two by fours. So I'm gonna make a Home Depot run and pick up some two by fours. Might pick up some more like uh, one inch screws but other than that i think i found enough supplies and you know you'll you'll get to see those here in a few between what the previous owners left behind from their you know miscellaneous builds and the stuff i brought with us i think i can put together a fairly decent sized coop i think i'm going to make this one mobile just so we uh we can move it around a little bit easier um, but again for now just a temporary to get us going so I'm gonna go run I'm gonna take ash with me and we'll see y'all here after a little bit all right so I am back from Home Depot we had some guests come and visit so I am a little bit off uh, pace on getting things done today we have a bunch of two by fours hopefully I will not need them all um, we'll see how this design kind of firms up as I throw it together and you can see back there I've got myself kind of set up. I got things moved out of the barn. I'm gonna to get to work on starting to put some of this frame together and we'll get the kids to help out once guests leave. Some sleep if you 
All right, well it is now Sunday, and it is a wet, miserable day. We are due to have rain all day today, most of Monday, actually I think all day Monday, and rolling over into Tuesday for at least half the day. So I don't know how much uh, we'll get done, but we gotta get back to work on this chicken coop and so that is what I am headed down to try to do a little bit more between rain. So we'll see what we can do. All right, so I think the next thing I'm going to do is just kind of show you what I ended up gotten built um, yesterday. And I didn't get a lot done, but I did get some of the framework done. So this is the framework. There's my little helper down there. Um, I ended up using some old stroller wheels side by side. I'll get a close-up of those here um, to use as the rear end of this thing and I still got to get a platform on it and then I'll build up from there but it won't be very tall um, it'll just be big enough for chickens so we'll see how it goes right now though this is my double wheel from the old stroller wheels I've got to cut off the uh, longer bolts I'm gonna leave them so I can double nut them I double nutted them down there. And there's the other one. So I still got to cut off the excess from those in order to uh, to make it right. So, but I didn't leave double nutted on this side, so I'm gonna have to double nut on this side as well. All right. So one of the things I had to get done today as well was the compost pile, and I got the kids down here helping me doing stuff. So I set them on the path to turning the compost. I don't know that I can get them back there, but they are in the back, taking turns, turning in the compost from one side to the other. And that was super hard because you can't really see them back there. But definitely something that needed to get done today that I don't have the time to get done myself, so perfect job for the kids.
With everything that you do I make so much progress When I'm here with you You hold all the pieces All of me in your hands Yes, I'm doing all this popping today because I didn't put my face on <laughs> in the camera yesterday. I didn't feel like getting cleaned up. I didn't feel like doing anything. It had been a long few days and I just didn't feel like it. So I'm popping in today. <laughs> so here is this amazing cauliflower wings. Now you guys are gonna see a lot of vegan and non-vegan recipes on our channel because half of us are going vegan yes half of us the girls are going vegan the boys are not so if we will have both meals we've done this before um, and actually the girls and I did go for eight months vegan um, but I think we learned some things and now we're trying to do it in a healthier way wings are not healthy any way you slice it so even though they're cauliflower they're still not healthy Boy, are they delicious. So here are the wings and the cauliflower wings. Um, all this is is I'm making a batter and I just use some all-purpose flour and I put in a little bit of Frank's hot sauce a little garlic powder a little onion powder and a little seasoning salt and I'm just mixing this in I am using soy milk but you can use any milk you want we just want it to be the consistency of a pancake batter not too thick not too thin So this is about the consistency we want so that when we take the cauliflower we can dip it in here and really dip it in good and see it's going to really like stick to that cauliflower. And then in this container we're going to add some just breadcrumbs. I'm just using plain breadcrumbs. And again I'm going to just do a little bit of garlic and onion powder. and a little bit of seasoning salt. Right. So I can just stick. Do they need help? No, he's got the girls out there with him right now. Then we're gonna just dump this, or dip it in the breading after we've put it in the batter. And then just set it on our baking pan. I made some of these really big and some small. I'm gonna bake these at 425 degrees for about 40 minutes. Next, you wanna make sure you just give them a good spray with a non-stick spray. That's just gonna help like really crisp them up. That way we're not using oil. And we're just going to put these in the oven. All 
Alright, you clipping or holding? <laughs> so, <laughs> many else have kids that wear pajama pants all done. <laughs> so, they are going to clip the chicken's wings. They found a video on how to do it because Jake looked out. They've been helping me while they're way down there making the coop. And Jake looked out and a chicken was way up here. So I'm going to try and zoom in so you guys can see. So they researched real quick how to do it. And now they're going to... guys. Thea's going to help you get the next one. That one's yours. <laughs> we still got to give it a haircut, baby. Okay, for the sauce, all I did was melt some of this Earth Balance, and I'm going to add some of this Frank's Red Hot sauce to it. Then I'm just going to stir that all around. So it's ready to be tossed. Okay, here are the cauliflower wings when they come out of the oven. That's what they look like. They're super hot right now because I just did them. They're nice and crispy on the outside. And here are regular wings that I did, barbecue and hot. This you could mix whatever you want, however you want to make your wings. Just the, you would do it the same way, barbecue, hot, garlic, however you want. I'm going to toss it with the hot sauce though. So. Did. I just I don't know, put them all in this bowl because I think it'll be easier to toss them all about. Over the hot sauce. And you're just gonna toss them. And once they're getting tossed in the sauce, then you just move them. Well, I am anyway, back to the pan. Just so this is what they look like when they're all done. And I did some barbecue back there. And honestly, they are so good. I think they are better than regular wings. Give them a try. And with that, we're going to have some of these tater tots Charles wanted. Got some veggies and ranch here. And then in the air fryer here, I do have just a few uh, chicken patties going for those that don't want it. And over here, I've got some Doritos and Lay's. That's it. That's how we're doing dinner tonight. Try these wings, you guys. I promise, I promise. They're fabulous. All right. That is going to wrap up today's video. And we will be back hopefully tomorrow. I'm not going to film a lot today because it is such a rainy, dreary day. Um, and out here... We are afraid of overflowing our septic system. So like showers had to happen last night. We're trying not to really use a lot of water and stuff today. Um, just because we don't want it to all back up because we started raining yesterday and we're raining until tomorrow. So of course, Charles is very nervous about that. He has a water phobia. I think about rain and water coming into the house, but um, nothing is coming into the house, but he's afraid of over flooding the septic system. So. I will be back as soon as I can and hopefully tomorrow. Thank you guys so much for watching and we will see you very soon. Bye everybody. Have a wonderful night.